What's up guys, Matt the Butcher here, and welcome to my YouTube series called Show and Tell, where I take professionals and serious at-home hobbyists and have them show us their dry cure meat chamber. They'll run us through their chamber or salumi rooms, how they set it up, how they control temperature and humidity, and give us a rundown on the products they have aging inside. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you stay up on the most recently uploaded videos. Okay, without further ado, let me introduce my next guest. Her name is Katarina Bernardi, and she owns a beautiful farm nestled in the side of a mountain in the Piedmont region of Italy. And in 2012, when I was backpacking in Europe, I found myself working on Katarina's farm to help prepare for winter. Stick around to the end to see more videos of my experience on the farm. But let me tell you, Katarina is a homesteader through and through. She chops her own wood, she raises livestock, and she cures her own meat. Let's all take a trip to Italy and see what Katarina is curing for the winter. Hi, I'm Katarina and this is my salami room. This room is kind of perfect for salami because we have uh, this part is like very close to the mountain, so I covered the windows to not let the light come in, but there is never sun, this part. And the other three walls have other rooms outside, so like the temperature and the humidity are, we, we can regulate them, so now I show you how. Here we have this, that is a thermo thermometer that take the temperature and the humidity. So now it's a bit too cold and a bit too dry, but it's almost okay. And I check it like at least twice a day, maybe more. Here we have a radiator to keep the temperature uh, that in this way like now, outside it's below zero, like five below zero, and in here we have 9.7. And for humidity, you have this one that is to raise the humidity, and this one that is to low humidity. And I use them like when I need them. And then we have this lamp that is for mosquitoes. So what I like about this place is that it's so easy to regulate temperature and humidity. And what I don't like at all is that is the place, this is the place where I keep horses stuff. So saddles, this is the place where I usually keep saddles and bridles here and all the other stuff so it means that two months every year I have to take away everything in from here and put it somewhere else to host the salami and I would like to have another place <laughs> to can not move all this stuff to hang the salami I <laughs> invented this wonderful method these are two beds and I put up there these things that I don't really know how to call them in English. And this is for mosquitoes and flies and things like this, but now it's too cold so there are no insects for the moment. This year I slaughtered two pigs. And here we have 163 kilos of salami. Then we have these ones, they are like little salami that in Italian are called cacciatorini. And these other ones that are salamelle. Then we made testa in cassetta, that is something that is made with the head of the pig, uh, boiled and then chopped and mixed with salt and herbs and put all together in a mold <laughs> and then you, you can eat it from the day after and we made coppa and we made pancetta 
and we made lardo and they are not here because they need a different uh, environment so we put them in another place we bought uh, i bought these two pigs from a local breeder that breed them like free range all year long so they were like grazing in the snow in the woods before to come here <laughs> and i cannot do all this work alone so i call a man that is a friend that is uh, what in, in italy is called norcino that is a butcher that only makes salami and all this kind of cured meat and he is very good and i hope also the salami will be very good <laughs> wow katharina what a unique way of utilizing a room seasonally also using the bed springs and the pulley system for a couple of months while you're hanging the salami that's genius the product looks incredible i only wish i was there to taste it katarina you are such an inspiration to be more self-reliant thank you for being awesome guys at the beginning of this video i said i was going to show you a couple clips from 2012 when i was on katarina's farm so let's take a look all right all right so this is my sixth day at uh, the Italian farm now and basically um, I have just been helping out with the animals feeding them and uh, they're reconstructing a farm I mean a guest house so I'm helping them clean up in there and everything like that and basically uh, it's just been absolutely amazing everything all the food has been freshly made. Look at this dog, it looks like a lion. Doggy! <laughs> anyway, <coughs> so I mean this farm is just incredible, just everything is so green and changing colors and everything is really nice. Um, she just, which is crazy, she just uh, got her horses back all these horses right here she got them back uh, they've been in these mountains all the way over here um, for the last like two months just like grazing doing whatever they want basically it's it's wild and then there's all these lamb that just get to go grazing wherever they want and actually we'll we'll slaughter two of them this weekend we'll bring them to a a slaughterhouse. I'll, I'll probably prepare some of it for the winter for her, braise some of it, maybe smoke some of it, we'll see. But yeah, it's just absolutely outstanding. I don't, I, I'd love to ski this. <laughs> All these mountains, very, very nice, but yeah. All right. <laughs> What an experience that was and a lifetime memory. Thank you guys for watching. And if you'd like to contact Katarina, her information is going to be in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Matt the Butcher, out.